So there is something called the cognitive process theory of writing. What all, all this means is the, the thinking theory of writing. What happens when you're thinking? Okay? And, and I'll give you another, uh, another, the same thing, but in a, in, a, in a diagram, because it's easier to digest. That's why we use diagrams in, in, uh, in, in models in, in mathematics, because it helps us with our working memory. We can absorb this thing almost instantly. That's what happens with a graph. Okay, so, this, look, and look at this. Well, so here's the problem. Let's say that's a math problem, but look at here. Long-term memory again. That's involved, and it's outside this room here. Think of this as a room. Now, think of this as a nonlinear process. Nonlinear meaning, unlike, you know, we were taught, which I could never do in, in, uh, you know, in our freshman, high school freshman English class. Okay, Lorenzo, you need to, to come up with a, um, with a subject to, to do a five-page paper on. I would say, okay, fine. Uh, didn't really want to do it, huh? So it says, uh, but... Give me a, uh, by Wednesday, this is Monday, bring me an outline. Well, uh, I can't give you an outline because I don't know what I'm going to say. Well, you got to do some research. Well, I go and do some research, and I still don't know what I'm going to say. The best way for me to develop an outline was to do it, and then from what I did, give you an outline. Some people can do that. I'm not one of those people that can do that. But then my grade depends on it, so I try very hard to give it. To them, you know, so so think of this as nonlinear. Look at this. Uh, I'll give you something else. Here's long-term memory that that uh, corresponds to uh, working memory. Okay, the, the the depiction of working memory, and then here, monitor. Monitor is again executive function. Monitoring is actually done by this, the frontal cortex. This is what distinguishes us from other from other beings in. Um, in, uh, from other animals in, in, uh, on, on earth. So, so it, and this is really the last thing to, to develop. If you, if you look at a, um, at a scan of um, um, a, a um, time-lapse scan of, of the brain, you know, like an MRI, and the brain starts to, to, to mature from the back, which is, mostly, which is mostly vision, all the way to the front. And this is the last. With, uh, you've heard me say this before. With uh, women, young women, the, it matures about the age of 21. With, uh, with men, about 20, between 21 and uh, with, with women, it's like between 21 and 28. With men, it's like uh, between 25 and I don't know. It may never... <laughs> So with some, it, it may never. Yeah, it may. You guys, you guys are married to those guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you guys, are, and that's what's going on. Now, now you know. Now you know. You didn't have to wait for Oprah to say that to believe it. Uh, so, so now uh, this is why, and in, in, uh, you know, um, uh, insurance companies don't have never done MRI on on, on people. And, and they knew this. How did they knew this? They constructed tables, actuary tables. Have you worked with the with the farmers or somebody? No, my sister does. Oh, okay. Actuary tables. Actuary, actually, things that actually happen. Okay, things that actually happen. So this this is what's going on. Okay. So say, oh, 25. Oh, 25. The the number of accidents seem to drop off. Oh, so okay. So let's do this. Uh, we'll, ch oh, we'll, char we'll overcharge them till they're 25, and then after that, we'll, they don't have any accidents, you know, because we really don't know when the brain matures. Well, they weren't talking about that, but, you know, they could look at, 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 um, at statistics, and then there's a correlation between maturation of the frontal cortex and statistics. You see that? So this is, this is the um, executive function. So think of this as uh, all... Interrelated. So as I'm planning, I'm translating ideas into text, and I'm also reviewing and setting new goals all the time. Now, you, I'm going to give you this, all of this. You don't have to take notes. I'll, I'll give you this. Um, I'm just not giving you now because the answers are on the, on, on the handouts. Okay? So, so, so I, there's the problem, and I'm going to give you a problem. So then you start generating ideas, and ideas come in the form of images. They come in the form of words or word images. They come in the form of propositions of some kind, but then you have to take that idea and translate it into text. 
If you don't have the formal math language, then you have to use a lot of words in order to translate it into text. As I said a little while ago, I'm going to use the community property. I'm just going to flip it and then multiply it. Well, that doesn't mean anything. But commute means what? Location. Community property means what? To change location. I said I'm going to use a distributed property over here. I'm going to distribute this 6 over the 6 and over the 0.5. You see that? Okay, so this is what you're doing. You're, you're translating ideas, you're generating ideas, you're translating them into text, and then you're organizing these ideas, and then you're setting goals. Okay, first I need to do this, and then I need to do this. But the goals may change. Goals may change. And uh, you may use a number line. So, oh, I'm going to use a number line. You may use a bar. You may use a, a ratio table. You may use a graph or, or both or a combination of all of these. Okay? And depending on how much you know, you can do it all. But I'll show you a graphic here for, I got from NCTM that shows five things in algebra that you should be able to do. It translate between graph and table and algebraic formulas and uh, concrete representations and uh, verbal and, and, and written discourse. Okay, So remember that this is nonlinear. You don't do this and then you do this and then you do this. This is called process writing. So you're generating ideas, you're changing those ideas into text, you're organizing them, you're evaluating these things, you're setting goals, you're revising. All of this is happening simultaneously in this space. But you need what? You need long-term memory and also you're using your working memory. All of this is happening within working memory. Okay? Is that clear? Okay. So in a, in a problem, this is what we do, usually. So uh, some, some, you know, your math teacher, your, your great math students, they, they read the text, boom, they go into the arithmetic expression or equation. That's the way we've been taught. But now what MSA is attempting to do is, okay, so let's read the text, but let's go to structure, uh, the structure of the math model. And this is what Common Core is asking us to do, that, that they can use models. And they are able to use words, formal language, to communicate this thinking, to communicate with precision, to use models, the number four and number six, let's say, okay? And to be able to reason, that's number one, huh? mathematically. But then you can go here, and then here, and then here. From between K and five, we want them to first go here, because here's where you really understand what this means, the equation. This is what really understand. This is what we want them to do. But if the teacher can't do this, then we can't do this. If we're going straight here, then here. And this is what happens when somebody's given investigations. You're given investigations, and you're not trained in it, and 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 you don't buy it. You go, well, this is this is the way I do it. Boom, 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 boom. And you're not. They're not understanding. You know, a raise and that sort of thing. Why do we give them a raise? It's not so that they can go to the market, as I said, and use arrays. It's so that you can understand the, 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 so that you can understand the concept of multiplication. So why is 3 times 4, 12, and 4 times 3, 12? You know, why is that? Why does that work? Well, if you use an array, is this 3 of 4. So I have 3 rows here, huh? 3 rows here. And I have, uh, what do I have, four columns here. Huh? I have it this way, okay? But now if I change it to four, okay, it's a little longer. So now I have four this way. One, two, three, four, and now I have three this way. It's an area model because numbers are so abstract. I want, this is why four times three and three times four is the same. It's 12. It's 12 of those little units in there. That's what we want. We don't want you to go to the market and do, and do this. We want you to do this in your head and be able to do that. But we want you to know why. It's about thinking. It's not, not to use that all. And teachers get confused about, oh, I need to show them a whole bunch of strategies because that's what the book. No, it's, it's showing you these things in order. And if you read the, um, the, the professional development articles in the back, it'll tell you that. 